Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd make a video uh, just updating you on the project and how things are going. I know I haven't posted in a little while. Uh, part of that was because of Christmas. I had family over and we did the whole Christmas thing and had a blast. And uh, But the other part was that all of us got sick. So at some point we got food poisoning. <laughs> so we had a house full of six pe sick people. Uh, yeah, that wasn't so fun, but that's passed, thankfully. And uh, yesterday and a little bit the day before I was out here tinkering, just getting stuff done. Uh, but I'm to the point where I have a few different projects started in here, but nothing's really quite complete because I keep running out of supplies. So I was working on the 12 volt electrical system and then I ran out of ring terminals. So I had to order some more of those, they'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I was working on the high voltage uh, system but then I ran out of uh, the cable glands, so I had to order some of those. They'll be here tomorrow. Um, what else? So then I started working on the cooling system. You can see the tank right in there. Uh, and then I ran out of, uh, or I didn't have the right uh, hose. So I've got some hoses here, but I've got to get some more. Uh, so here I am now looking at it, knowing I have a lot to do and not being able to do anything. So. Yeah, uh, that's where I'm at right now, but I'll, I'll uh, reverse the camera and I'll just show you the inside and show you what I have going on. It's it's a mess, because like I said, I've got a lot of different projects in, in the works right now. It's just nothing's completed, but I'll show it to you anyway. Just uh, don't hold the mess against me because it's not done yet. Here we go. All right, so in here, uh, you can see some of the cooling parts that I have. I need to modify this bracket uh, so I can um, put that in place, but I, I don't want to cut it yet until I make sure everything else is going to fit in the places that I'm expecting it to fit. Um, there's my Tesla plug, which I need the cable gland for. And then in here, you can see my Tesla Gen 2 battery charger. I'm still waiting on the, um, the board from Damian McGuire to actually mount that and get that in there so i i haven't done any of the wiring with that yet it's just sitting in place uh i'm going to be bolting it right there um but yeah so i can't finish that until i have the board i've got all the wires ran that i need i have one battery connect one battery terminal connected here i ran out of the cable uh crimp connectors for the ground um i've got this all pretty much done it's just then I don't have a nut and bolt for that, so I've got to go get another nut and bolt. Uh, you can see where the cable gland is going to go, just waiting on that to show up. Uh, and then out here is going to go out to the front of the car, but I don't want to cut and put that wire in yet until... Um, I mean, I want to review everything, make sure it's exactly where I want it. I think it is, but I also don't want to drill through until the fiberglass is wrapped around the whole trailer. Uh, then I'll take you around the back and I'll show you all that stuff. I do have these to a, a pretty nice curve. Uh, I did that last week, so I'm pretty happy with the way the arrow looks at the moment. I really want to bolt it up to the, the car and, and see how it looks. But I think that's pretty good. I started the frame to the door. You can kind of see it here. But... Um, I don't want to continue building that yet because I have limited space here to work with. So I want to get the electrical done before I do that. Um, I've talked about it in other videos, but it's going to look like uh, the trailer tail. It, it's a company that makes this product called the trailer tail that goes on the back of semis. And it's going to come out about two feet and it's going to taper to a point, not, not a literal point, but it's going to taper down. Uh, I think it's 11 degrees from the top and 13 degrees in from the side, and it'll help guide the air around the trailer. Um, so that's what I, I still need to get done, but I don't wanna to lose too much space. So then back here, I have uh, a 100 amp hour uh, 12 volt battery. I've got the 3000 watt inverter. This is the 2000 watt volt uh, DC to DC converter. I've got all of this pretty much completed but again I ran out of nuts and bolts um, 
for now I have these wires just dangling because I don't want to cut those yet until I figure uh, final placements for all items, all, uh, all products and everything. And I also don't want to cut the high voltage cable yet because this is going to be bending and going into here. So I don't want to quite cut that and make that finalized yet until I figure out placement for my uh, Chadmo plug. So the Chadmo plug is going to go pretty much right around here somewhere, but the cords, the cables are really short. So they're going to be tapping onto these contactors here. So I need to figure out uh, exactly where to put that, but I'm also looking at what other options I want to include. Uh, do I want to have some kind of uh, door on the here that flaps open? Do I want to have them exposed to the elements? Uh, still figuring that part out. So until I figure that part out, I can't mount the box. Until I mount the box, I can't cut the wire. Um, what else? I'm missing one fuse holder. I was one short. So with the uh, inverter, it has two leads, uh, each are on uh, 150 amp fuse. 150 or do I 125? I think it was 150. Uh, and then those, those get wired to the battery. Um, then I also want to have a fuse uh, going to this fuse block. I need a fuse a, a fuse going to the uh, fuse block up there. And I want to have a fuse block in between the DC to DC and the 12 volt battery. And I have two left. And I should have ordered another one, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, so I need that. Um, what else? Oh, so then I installed a battery monitor. Uh, it was a cheaper one that I got from China. Did not like it, so that's gotta come out. I just ordered uh, a really awesome one from, I think it was Victron Battery uh, Management. Uh, it's, it's really nice, 209 bucks on Amazon. And actually it's Bluetooth, it has an app, and that thing will be really sweet. Uh, this one, uh, unfortunately, only shows current in one direction. So depending on how I wired it, it would either show current going into the battery, the 12 volt battery, or current going out of the 12 volt battery. So if I put a solar system up here at some point, it's not going to show any of that power going into the battery. It'll only show the power coming out. So that's really lame. I mean, the power was only like 40 bucks, so it's to be expected. But yeah, so I, that's got to come out. Uh, what else? Yeah, so I, I don't want to cut the 12 volt uh, 4 gauge wires that go to the front until I get the ground connected up there and get another fuse block. So I'm kind of in the middle of stuff at the moment. Been definitely making some great progress, but yeah, just uh, waiting, which I'm not good at. Uh, but that's where I'm at right now. I guess there's nothing else really crazy to report. Uh, I'll definitely keep you guys updated as more information comes and as I get more stuff done. And uh, just looking forward to cranking along and keep working on this thing. I uh, hope you guys had a great holiday, no matter what you celebrate, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.